What it do, YouTube? Boy Eyes and there's Tactical over here, man. Back with another video. Hope everybody's doing good. While you're in here, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't cost you a penny. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Appreciate it on the road to 1K. Man, uh, just chilling, man. I was just uh, back with a little uh, video. I was watching uh, YouTube the other day and uh, saw quite a couple of people buying uh, these pistol caliber carbine 9mm, though. And I was like, man, what? what's up with that, man? Like, you know, because that's something I'm never going to buy. I ain't buying no pistol caliber 9mm. It's just not happening. So, uh, but hey, do each his own, man. Spend your own money on how you want it. I mean, it makes sense. Low recall, stabilize it and everything. So, I'm, you know, so I said, like, man, you know what? Let me uh, bust out. Let me, let me do a little revisit. So I was sitting back and I decided, hey, man, let me, let's revisit the micro conversion kit. I know some people say, man, that thing is trash. Why would you want to buy that? Whatever. Well, let me get into it. I bought this back in 2018. I think this is the third generation or second generation. And, uh, you know, you know, Mike, Mikey Hartman, I mean, like for some of you political folks, don't get all carried away. I know he's former IDF and all that. I ain't getting against the brother. I follow him on Facebook. He's got a beautiful family. Uh, sent me a happy birthday on my Facebook and uh, made in USA. And uh, yeah, man, like my Facebook is way different from my Instagram and YouTube. It's all about family sports and all the teams I coach and stuff. So, yeah, man, he, he shot me out a little happy birthday back in May. So I like him, man. Cool dude, man. And if you have a problem with CAA, man, they they are uh, right there for you to fix it. Not that I had a problem, but, you know, good customer service, you know. Uh, very nice kit, man. And uh, so let's get into it. And I, So, uh, yeah, man, uh, I, I bought this in 2018 because I was kind of like, okay, it was, they were pretty hot, the micro Ronies by clock, but then they lost it because it was in California. So this is how it comes in the box. You get a couple of parts in here for the light shroud. That's if you don't want to use the light. Get into that in just a second. Yep. So we got that. And then we'll go ahead and break it down. Explain all the features and whatnot, what they have. I am in home defense mode. Glock 21. Sweet pistol. Got to push these sights over. I think this is over to the right a little bit. Got to go that way a little bit. But yeah, man, so let's get up into this real quick. Uh, so yeah, man, the micro uh, conversion kit by CAA, uh, is it a viable option for a 9mm PCC? Let's see. So, in that bag. Now, a lot of the stuff that when you buy these, they come pretty much stock, bone dry. So you got the braces, and this is why ETF scared everybody away. And I took mine apart too. And just real quick, just pop that little cotter pin right there. And you pull that pin out, and that'll release that brace. So got that going on. Uh, one of the features on this Gen 2, I believe is Gen 2, is that this charging handle is locked up in there. Before, I guess, it used to, you have to put it on top of your pistol, and people would lose it. So... CAA, they kind of listen to you a little bit when you talk to them about things how you can make their products better. Flip up sights, front and back. I put this little reflex sight on here. Uh, it's a pretty good little reflex sight. I mean, it's got like, like several different reticles. Let's see if I can get it on real quick without turning this into a science project. Because you know it's hard getting these optics to show up on camera when you want them to. Like I, I can look, I'm looking right at it right now, but I can't get it on camera quite. Okay, there it goes right there. Y'all see that? Kind of can see it. Right there. See that looks a little better. It's weird how huh? I can uh I can see it. Okay. So let's see here if I can get that in there. Okay, there's a, the one reticle you got right there. And this thing goes from green to red. And as you can see, there you go. So you got the, uh, you got the dot, you got the little crosshairs. Uh, yeah, you got all those different reticles up in here. 
And uh, so it's pretty neat, man. It's a pretty good lower. And it, it's all you need. It, it doesn't give you much recoil in this thing. Uh, so you got that up there. I put that on there. Okay. You got the thumb rest. And you can adjust these. And none of this come with this. And then you got the proprietary light. Which is kind of neat. Now, let me tell you something about this light. So you see these tabs right here? That's how you get it out. And then you pull that. So when I first bought it back in 18, 2018, I had it when I installed it. I was so excited. I just I just kind of shoved it in there like this. Let me see. I just kind of had it like that. You can see. And when I was shooting at the rain, I heard it for example go bloop, and then on the floor and it's down there. So make sure when you pull this out or put it in, it's whatever you're gonna do. Make sure you uh, hear that click. Now you're in there. So just keep that in mind. You got the little hand area where you can put your hand here. So what's great about this is that uh stabilizes yourself with a pistol is a small package very small package okay uh that's one of the great uh advantages of this thing is that how small it is so it could be a backpack gun it could be i mean you could use it for whatever you want to use it for um but mainly what this thing is is to shoot pistols and stabilize them which is pretty much what a PCC is, but you're not spending. I see the prices on these things is crazy. So let's see what the length is on this thing. Okay, so so from here, fully extended. It's that a little under from the shroud all the way out, a little under the 22 inches. Okay, so that's not bad, 22 inches. And then when you fold it, this thing is really small. So fold it a little under 15 inches, a little under 15 inches. So pretty small little device, man. And uh, it takes several pistols. You can buy these for different models, Smith and Wentz, Weston, Canik, whatever. But if you look inside of there, I hope y'all can see that. It's that, see that GL? This is a Glock model and that's all the Glocks that fit in here look at that one the 45 the 32 the 31 the 23 so just let everybody know if you're not a glock person let me just tell you what these calibers are the 45 is a nine millimeter 32 i believe is is sig let me just double check that yeah this, the 32 is sig uh the 31 is sig also uh the 23 is uh smith and wesson 40 cal, the 22, same thing, Smith & Wesson, 40 cal, 19X, 9 millimeter, 19, 9 millimeter, not an 18, I don't even know what a Glock 18 is, I don't know all these Glocks, and Glock 17 is 9 millimeter, so that's how you can tell what fits in here, now, if this was Smith & Wesson, it'll have SW, if it was uh, any other brand, it'll have their abbreviation up there in front, and then have all the brand models that it fit, so that's what's great about this, and so, you can put different caliber pistols in there, stabilize your shots. You can put a sling on it, get a little red dot on it. Um, very, very uh, cool little uh, system. Um, also, if you uh, if you in a free state, you, you would love this as a little range toy because uh, you can get those 32 round sticks or drums, whatever you want, and put on this thing, and you can just have be a, you can just be planking away with this sucker right here. Now, you know, of course, with this with this setup on the MCK, you don't you can't put a light on your pistol, but you got one at the front end of the uh, device, so you don't really need a light. So that's another that's another cool thing. It's already built in. So let's go ahead and stick in. Let's slap in a uh, Glock twenty three. EDC in this, and I know y'all saying, "Damn, it's kind of got scratch." I mean, I, I I work my guns. I don't care about those old marks and stuff. And that, that's just I can just wipe that away with oil, with a little oily rag. That's not that's just from my holster. So I just show you how that can just disappear real quick. Let's see. So let's go ahead and clear this out. I've got the uh, self defense ammo in there. I'm in a safe environment. YouTube, no one's around. Gun safe. So let's go ahead and slap this up here so everybody can see what this looks like real quick. So you got this little door back here, this little door. So what you do is you depress that button, pop that little, pop that button, lift this up, put the charging handle all the way then back. Like I said, the older models, you have to put it on the gun first and stick it in. And I usually go nose first. 
and then I slap it in like that, and you hear it click. You hear that? You heard that click, and that that means that it's on, it's on the charging handle now. So then, what you do after that? Slide it forward. Here, another click. Close this door. Close this door. Let me see here real quick. Okay, hold on, hold on. See, I, you got to close that door, and you see that little red light. Let's do it again. See that little red tab? You push this button down, close that up in there, and then push that forward. Now locks that pistol in. That thing ain't going nowhere. And you got these mag holders right here, so you can put the thirty-two round sticks here if you want. You can uh, load one up in there, and uh, that's how that looks. Like I said, with those 32 round sticks, that look that thing looks sweet. Or a drum, have a drum here and have a stick there. And you just have a major amount of capacity to work with. So I, I just don't see how uh, this is not a viable option for someone that wants to get into the PCC game, pistol carbine game with a nine millimeter. Uh, you know, you'd be more versatile because if you buy the, the PCC, you got to carry the whole rifle around. This, you can just, you could, uh, you could just have this and then pop the pistol in. And then when you want to just be concealed carry, pop the pistol out. And then, you know, this could be a good home defense situation too. Very small, very compact, you know, easy to maneuver around. So, uh, yeah, man, I don't, I don't see how this could not be a viable, viable option for a person that wants to get a PCC or is looking at a Caltech sub 2000 or something like that. This is right up in that same ballpark. You just basically stabilizing a nine millimeter round. Okay. And it's very affordable. So there you go, guys, man. I just want to bring that out to everybody. Let everybody see this. And uh, hopefully this is an educational video. Somebody learned something. If not, oh, well. <laughs> but yeah, man, I just thought that let's go ahead and revisit the MCK and let everybody know this is still a viable option, man. Is This is a great uh, stabilizing device for uh, for your pistols. And they, like I said, they make them in uh, several models now. And like this is one of the original ones. And uh, they have another stock so you can put on here, you know, so all the little options, finger rest, you can get your, your they, you know, they sell all the whole, these are all MCK proprietary uh, sites. I don't know if you can see their logo uh, right there on there. See the MCK right there. So these is their, these are their sites. So they do their own sites too. So put the, I'm sure they just basically uh, inbus and just stuck in the, their logo on there. But yeah, man. Hey, man, it's your boy Eisen Tackle, man. I appreciate you guys stopping by, supporting the channel, man. Let me know what you guys think about this MCK kit, trash, pass, or pretty cool, good starter starter setup for someone who's just getting into guns or even for a veteran. But this is a great little device for your car, truck, whatever, going fishing, hunting, or in the house, man. I appreciate everybody, man. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Eisen Tackle. I'm out. Peace.